Hello and welcome back to Airtech Hunting. Today we've got a brand new gun on the show, the FX King. We're going to hunt with it, we're going to tell you all about it, so sit back and enjoy. And there she is, or should I say he is, because this is the FX King, and I'm quickly going to take you through the setup. So as you can see, it comes with a GRS stock. We're going to use the AccuTac bipod, and we're going to fit it on the Sabre Tactical bottle clamp. I also got the Element Optic Theos on there, because I think this scope is suited for the King. And we're going to shoot 26 grain javelins, and then we've got the brand new Donnie FL Yoko Zuna silencer. I'm going to talk more about that later. That's a pretty um, awesome piece of kit. And yeah, this is what we're going to shoot today. So let's get her ready. So we're going to fit the Akitek bipod there on the Sabre Tactical bottle clamp. And the reason why I'm using the Sabre Tactical bottle clamp is like with the Crown, you have very little meat here on the stock to put a bipod on. And with the King, it's even less. And it's such a beautiful stock that they don't really want to drill into that. So the Sabre Tactical bottle clamp is a great alternative to fix that problem. And you can also switch it between guns if you, love, if you want. So yeah, very nice little piece of kit. Okay, as always, we need to test the speed of the gun before we shoot. It's a much cooler day than the day that I tuned this gun on. So I just want to make sure that my speed is correct and maybe do some fine adjustments. So I'm going to shoot the 26 grain javelin dot 218 and it's going to run at 960 feet per second that's what i've got my ballistic tape set up for so as you can see here on the element ballistics app um, it's 26 grain slack and then 960 feet per second is the speed i want there so that's what you want to do um, let's quickly switch on this unit i'm using the brand new version 2 of the fx chronograph the pocket one the little small one and its companion screen and it's connected and I'm just gonna do a dry fire get the gun all warmed up there slap that in there and let's see the speed 965 so I'm happy with that so now we can continue and zero the gun I'm happy there. Should be good. Then we just reset the turret. Nice about these element scopes is they're all toolless. And you can just reset them like that. Pretty easy. And yeah, done with it. Okay, so we're on our way. We're not going to waste any time. Maggie's got the king. Nicely tucked on her shoulder. Exactly the same way she carried the crown. Because the gun inherently feels exactly the same and it looks exactly the same but there are a lot of differences which we'll get to soon uh, yeah look at that Falcon's back that's gonna make things more difficult with the Falcon sitting on this side we decided to move around the corner where Maggie found the first pigeon That was a beautiful one. With my first shot with the king. And the at first 65 kill. 65 <laughs> meters. <laughs> Maggie delivers an awesome first shot right through the off switch and he goes straight down. We then switched camera and gun because I had a few sparrows in sight. Yeah, he's down 59 meters. Sparrow. I hold slightly to the left here for the wind, but the slug travels straight and the result is almost a perfect double kill. So the first obvious difference in this gun to the Crown is you can see there a very thick barrel, much thicker than what the Crown is. Um, and the reason for that is the King shares the same dynamic block as the FX Pantera. So this is in fact your plenum and the plenum goes all the way up to here. Same as in the Pantera, it's the exact same system and shares the same power levels and all that stuff as well. So you've got a massive plenum, you've got a much bigger valve, much better valve flow system here, direct valve flow system. So it gives you a lot more power and to give you a, a, a comparison with the Crown, if I shoot 26 grain slugs like, like we did in our previous, one of our previous videos, I had to, I had to have the regulator pretty high, like 170, 180 bar 
where with the king now I can have the regulator sitting on just under 120 bar um, and I can still get the, the 26 grains in the high 900 feet per second. So yeah, much more power, much more versatile system, much more tunable as well. Um, but yeah, so far we really enjoy it and it's an excellent platform. We switched the equipment again and Maggie had another pigeon inside. Yay! Woo! Nice shot. Nice shot. Dead tail flared 37 meters. Maggie delivers another accurate shot straight through the off switch and she even managed to follow this one down to the ground while his tail is flaring out. It is extremely satisfying to see them go down like this. This is the other massive difference on the King. You now have your pressure gauges on the side, same as a Pantera, and you've got your quick tune system right there as well. And also another feature here is you've got two Picatinny rails on the side here as well, as you can see there on both sides, so you can mount some flashlights or whatever you want to do with those. So yeah, it gives you a little bit more versatility. Next up was a Starling who decided to come sit in the wrong tree. Oh, oh, oh. Got him, Starling, 80 meters, and down he goes. The Starling nearly jumps the shot, but he wasn't fast enough and the slug still gets him. While I was taking that shot, my eye also caught a pigeon that came and sat down to the left of me. Oh, he's down. Yeah, I was hoping he would fall to the other side and not on the balcony there. Yeah, 58 meters, he's down. I hold a little bit to the right for the wind and I connect this one straight through the neck. It was all action today as my eye caught another sparrow on a nearby roof. Getting very lucky on this side of the farm now. And down he goes. Sparrow at what, 41 meters? This one was straight into the wind. I hold dead on and make a solid connection. Okay, it's time to move on again. Find another place to shoot. Just like the crown, it's very easy to throw your shooting bag over your shoulder and just carry the, the king like that because there's a nice flat spot underneath there. It also serves as a nice spot if you're shooting over poles and stuff to rest the gun on your, on your back there. I'll show you the balance of the gun in a second as well. Oopsie. Yeah, so while we were shooting on that side, a big truck came by and drove over our one pigeon. So yeah, this one is, will not be eatable by the falcons. <laughs> they probably won't eat it. It's completely flat. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. Um, I think I'm just going to throw it on the side here for the, for the farm cats. Then here is the other pigeon that Maggie shot. So this one we'll definitely keep. That will eat up nicely, so that will go into the bag. And this is the pigeon I shot. Nice in the neck. This one will also eat up nicely, so we're going to keep him as well. In the meantime, Maggie had a bird lined up and was screaming for me to bring the camera. Yay! I love that sound. 50 <laughs> meters. This luck hit center mass and the result is a loud impact. Probably the most satisfying sound on this earth. So this is another feature that you share with the Pantera. Because this is a plenum and it's at constant pressure, it also serves as a barrel stiffener. So all the way from here to here, your barrel is held on very rigidly by the compressed air in here and it's always at a constant pressure. So it's a much more stiffer barrel system than the Crown as well. Yo, this is potent, <laughs> at 60 meters. And now we're going to move around to this side again, see what we can find over here. So Maggie suddenly had a very quick walk on her. So she probably saw something that I didn't see, so I'm just following. <laughs> As you can hear and see there, the wind has picked up dramatically now. Well, that's going to make things a little bit more challenging. And there's a pigeon there on the roof. 28 meters.
Yay! That was a nice pop at 20, 28 meters. So I just saw Maggie walking very quickly suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie on a mission. So while Maggie is walking, there's another feature I want to show you, and that's the Picatinny rail up here. It now features a 9mm or 30 MOA tilt, so you don't need adjustable rings anymore. You do, however, need pretty high rings to clear the, the magazine there, so I've got pretty high rings up here to be able to do that, so just keep that in mind as well. I was up next and I found a sparrow hiding underneath the roof. Got him. Yeah, so that was 34 meters. I still can't bend with the stupid knee that I had the surgery on. So that was very awkward. The javelin completely rips the sparrow apart. <laughs> That's your typical house sparrow. They uh, nest all inside the roof structures here and the farmer don't want that completely destroyed. Can't show you that. <laughs> it's blown open. Oh, you can feel the first few drops falling. So there's definitely some rain coming in. I hope we can continue. Should be able to. Okay, so while we walk past the truck, we're just gonna quickly take a break, get some drinks. I'm pretty thirsty now. There we go. So while we're having our drinks, it's a good time to talk about the brand new silencer range from Donny FL. So this is a Yokozuna. And this system is completely modular, um, meaning that you get a lot of modules in your package and you can build the silencer you want. So I've made a little short one with a baffled system, an open volume system and then the end cap. But you can add more baffles and things. You can make it to quite a big silence as well if you want to really quiet your gun down. I'm going for the more shorter look because I've got a 600mm barrel here. But yeah, this whole system is designed to be modular. Every section can be unscrewed and they're sealed with rubber end caps as well. Um, which seals them airtight which means they are super quiet and it also comes with this brilliant quick release system that just unclicks like that so this little piece just screws over your half UNF over there and that stays on there and then you can just clip your silencer on there it's spring loaded as well and it's sealed also with a rubber o-ring and then that's it your silencer is on it's as easy as that you just clip it off and clip it on just like that really cool system very clever thinking by donny fl and his team they did an excellent job with this it is a revolutionary system while we were busy with that my eye suddenly caught something in a tree and it was time for action again oh got him 113 meters here on this side <laughs> yeah so <laughs> just after we filmed that little Silence a section of Star Starling came and sat down there, 113 meters down here it goes, awesome. I hold a little for wind here but there was absolutely nothing and this slug traveled straight. Lucky for me the Starling jumped a shot and jumped right into the slug. Right we are hydrated again and Maggie is already on a mission. I don't know how she got on that side, so I can't go through here. <laughs> Maggie knew exactly what she was doing and it wasn't long before she found the next one. Yes, <laughs> sparrow, just feathers. <laughs> the scope cam footage was a bit blurry and that impact shocked Maggie a bit and she completely lost her words. There you go, that is where the balance of this gun is. Now keep in mind I do have the AccuTac bipod on front there, which I will always have on anyway and I guess you guys will also have a bipod of some sorts on there. And then the scope cam system also adds a bit of weight on the back. But the gun is very balanced. I don't think if you, even if you remove the scope cam, it's going to make much of a difference. As you can see there, sitting nicely where you want it, just in front of the trigger. Really nice balance on this gun. And it is pretty solid there. As you can see, it's not moving. It's pretty awesome. Yay! <laughs> now it's getting fun. At 38 meters. Maggie's plan was working out, she takes this one down and then immediately had another opportunity on a starling. Yay! I broke a twig and I got the starling at 35 meters. Maggie did indeed shoot him right through the twig because if you pause the video you can actually see the hole in the twig where the slug went through. It just shows you how much power a little 26 grand slug has. 
There goes a falcon. Very quiet now. If we can just get one more shot down, I will be very happy. I don't see one bird anywhere. Maybe some sparrows over here. Let's see. Yeah, this might work. We're constantly in and out here. So if we wait a bit here, then we might find one. There's one on the roof. <laughs> Got him. One last bird. I think we're going to call it there. Start walking back. The flies are getting very irritating now because the sun is out. Yeah, so let's go end it off. Then uh, do a quick conclusion on the gun and then we go from there. A nice decapitating headshot to end the day with and then we slowly made our way back. We really enjoyed the King today. It's an excellent rifle and I think a very good hunting platform. So my conclusion or final verdict, I really like this gun. I've always been a fan of the Crown as you can see on the previous videos in my channel. If you go look down that list, I uh, shoot a lot with the Crown. And this is basically a massive upgrade to the Crown. Um, being based on a dynamic block means that it's basically a Pantera in a GRS stock. So you get all that beauty, that form, that function for the hunting field all in one package. All those features, you've got that extra 30 MOA 9mm rail as well, so you don't need adjustable rings. You've got the massive plenum, you get different options on the barrels and plenum sizes, just like the Pantera as well, different bottle sizes you can put on here. Just a really nice system and then also these nice Picatinny rails means you can go out night hunting and put some flashlights and things on there as well. I think this is a really awesome platform. The only gripe I have is not being able to adjust the regulator without removing it from the stock but I'm sure people will find a way to get in there because you can not see it but it's just difficult to, to get in there. But yeah, I absolutely love this gun. I think this was a brilliant idea and just another something with the dynamic block that fx could do and i think there's a lot more coming with this block it's a really awesome system well that is it we are done for the day we really enjoyed it it was a lot of fun and i hope you learned more about the new fx king it's a brilliant gun we really enjoyed the gun as well so yeah if you like this video hit the like button remember to subscribe join us on instagram and then we'll see you next time cheers <laughs> <laughs>